Rinspoon. Representative Wheatley uh, had a question about uh, statements that you made in your 2005 publication that federal and state governments are reluctant uh, to acknowledge the medicinal benefits of marijuana because of a fear that once the medicinal benefits were shown and the uh, drug was otherwise proven to be relatively harmless, then there would be a push for complete prohibition repeal. Can you comment on that, please? Well, uh, I can uh, simply say, well, if it's completely harmless, why should it be prohibited to people who want to use it for other reasons? And there are other reasons that people use it. I think that uh, one of the things that, that, you know, when I first uh, uh, published a book, Marijuana Must Be Medicine, one of the first letters I got, and one of the few negative ones, was uh, the letter that said, oh, doctor, you, uh, you wrote this book uh, as a Trojan horse uh, for the legalization of marijuana. Well, I can assure you, I had no such thought in mind. But in fact, uh, what is happening in this country now uh, is that uh, more and more people are having the opportunity to see a relative or a friend or an acquaintance using it as a medicine and observing for themselves how limited the toxicity is, how relatively, how relative to the uh, conventional drug it displaces. It's not only less toxic, but almost invariably, even at the inflated prices uh, in those states that do not have, uh, uh, particularly in those states that do not have medical marijuana legislation, uh, it's still less expensive than the conventional drugs. Now, I am so, you know, I started this uh, whole enterprise uh, of looking at this in 1967 and researching and publishing. I was convinced that it was a very bad thing. I am no longer convinced. So that, for example, uh, I, 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 I get a lot of emails uh, from around the world now that the book has been translated into 14 languages. And uh, people will say to me, uh, Dr. Grinspoon, uh, I suffer from, uh, let's say, uh, uh, well, let's just stick with Crohn's disease. Uh, would marijuana help me? Now, take Crohn's disease. It's an inflammatory disease of the bowel where segments of the bowel get very inflamed to the point where people can't eat, eat. they're nauseous, and they have uh, extreme diarrhea, and they lose weight. Now, there are drugs that are given to this that are not terribly effective, and uh, unfortunately, it gets so bad that surgery is sometimes required to take out that segment of the bowel uh, that's uh, become inflamed. Unfortunately, that doesn't ensure, in fact, these people regularly get, will get another episode later down the line, and they'll be in the same position. Marijuana relieves, in every patient I've had experience with, marijuana relieves those symptoms. And, uh, you know, so I'll get an email from someone in New Zealand asking me about marijuana and Crohn's disease. Now, I, every case I've been involved with, it didn't believe it, but I always say this. I say, look, I don't know if marijuana will give you relief for Crohn's disease. But I can tell you, uh, you could certainly, if I were you, I would try it because I know, well, maybe it won't work, but it isn't going to hurt me. Time of non viscera. Do, first of all, do no harm. And that is how it is with marijuana. The only situation, I was just talking to someone uh, in Colorado about this because I've written a paper called A Note of Caution uh, about people uh, who, who believe they have cancer who are taking a concentrated form of marijuana. And I am very concerned about this because you know, in Crohn's disease, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. He just goes on with the surgery or whatever drugs he's taking, and it hasn't hurt. 
But in cancer, uh, and maybe it will prove to be useful in some cases, it's already been proved by a man by the name of Luzman in uh, Spain, that it does shrink some tumor cells, but that doesn't make a cure. And maybe it will sometime in the future, but the risk here is that a person will self-diagnose, I've got cancer, and, uh, and uh, people are writing that uh, marijuana will cure cancer. And it's become so, you know, people who get cancer get all frightened and, and sometimes uh, uh, do, will do anything. Uh, look at Bob Marley. He went off to a class in Switzerland. Uh, it didn't work, of course. But uh, if, if they do it with this drug, instead of getting the kind of uh, cancer protocol for that particular cancer, which is prescribed by allopathic medicine, they may miss the opportunity to have that treatment, which seldom can actually be cure a patient, but it does, but usually gives at least some prolongation of life. As far as I'm concerned, there has never been even an anecdotal case of cancer uh, uh, which is cured by marijuana. And in that case, the anecdotal for me is here, uh, you cannot just say, oh, I got can you've got to have the histopathological evidence for me to see before and after, before I will believe that. So there's no question. Uh, but you, you run the same risk with anything, you know, there are people who believe if they take, uh, you know, a lot of aspirin, it will cure this, that, or the other thing. Uh, and, and a lot of the reasons they take it for it is Thank you. Are there any other questions? But Dr. Brinsman, thank you very much. We're going to close our session now. Thank you. Thank you very much.